All right, so let's get to the basics. So you have a saxophone. Now what? Well, let's talk about some of what's going on here with the saxophone. Let's start with the alto saxophone, for example. And it's already assembled, right? This means that it's, it's ready to play. So I want to start with one of the most important things that we wouldn't put together first, but you might want to start with first. You might want to put your neck strap on first. Why is the neck strap important? Well, it helps balance the weight of the saxophone so you're not trying to hold it up with your hands and play, which is very hard. So it balances the weight evenly from your neck and your hands, so it takes a, makes it a lot easier. A lot of straps have a way to connect. Mine has a, like a little lever here. So I can put it in the hole on that saxophone. You see a hole in the saxophone, that's what it's for, okay? And then usually your straps have a way to adjust up or down for positioning. Okay, so now I'm gonna start taking it apart so that you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna keep it very simple. I don't like um, making things super exhaustive. I like to get kind of to the point and get you rolling as fast as I can. We have the body, which is all of this. This is the body of the saxophone. This is the neck up here. This is the mouthpiece. We have the ligature, which holds the reed down. So the reed connects to the mouthpiece, which is held by the ligature, which is connected to the neck. Then right here, we have a place to, to keep the neck from moving. Right here, these screws, they, they deal with that, which connects to the body. And once you have those connections, you're literally going to put your thumb under what we call the thumb rest, which is this thing right here, with your right hand. Your fingers go over the keys right here, one, two, three. One, two, three on the left hand. And you're literally pretty much from this point, if, if you get to this point, you're ready to play. So now I'm gonna show you how to take it apart. You loosen up the screws or a screw, and you remove the neck. You remove the mouthpiece. And I'm careful to grab it like this because I don't want to bend things, right? So when it's disassembled, you'll see this neck aside. You'll see the body aside. When it's disassembled, you'll see your mouthpiece to the side. And you'll see your reed to the side. I'm using a synthetic reed. I'm not using wood. Wood. What happens is you take your reed with the flat side and you put it on the mouthpiece. Now I like, some people like to make their reed be even with the edge of the mouthpiece. But what I like to do is go ahead and get my, ligat my ligature up here. You know, at least about halfway. Hope you can see that. And then I like to make my I like to have my reed go kind of, for me, I like to have my reed a little bit past, a little bit past the where, where it sits. So you can play with this because determined, depending on how you play, it might feel better for it to be a little bit past the tip of the, of the mouthpiece, even or a little bit more. But you play with that and find out what works for you, okay? Then you are able to take the neck and put the mouthpiece to the neck, attach it to the neck. Okay, so now we're halfway there. Now you take the, the mouthpiece and the neck, that's now one piece, and you're able to put it on the top into the body and, you know, position it where you want. And now it's assembled. So now let's talk about quickly. Let's talk quickly about embouchure. Embouchure is how we're controlling things here. Okay. We're not just blowing <laughs> any kind of way. There's a way to do it. There's two embouchures I want you to be thinking about. Number one, you want to take your two front teeth and you want to put them on top of the mouthpiece. You want to curl your bottom lip under your, your, your bottom row of teeth 
and so it can form a bed. So the, the reed can sit on that bed. Two front teeth on the top. And then you're going to take your lips and you're going to let them fill up the space around all this like a circle. And then you're able to push air. You can control the flow of the air with these sides of, of your lips. This is the most important part that we're trying to build up to make good sound and to have good technique. Now, another thing you can do is you can partially let your lip come out a little bit. Some people like to do that for a little bit warm of a, of a sound, kind of like this, and not curl it all the way. I don't use that. I like, a, I like a little bit more cut through. I like a little bit more direct sound, so I choose to do the old armature right here. So, recap. We have a reed. We have a mouthpiece. We have a ligature. You attach the reed to the mouthpiece. You put the ligature on and tighten it up to allow those things to sit together. Then, you're able to attach the mouthpiece to the, to the neck. And then from there, you are able to attach the neck to the body and tighten it up with, with the screws here at the top and, and a position where you like it. And then you can, you can form that old armature over and begin to play. So that is the basics of assembling. If you want to disassemble, you do the same things. You take, you loosen up the ligature, you take the reed off, you take the mouthpiece off of the neck, take the neck off, and you take the body, and you put them back in the case in, the, in, the, in their proper places. So that's how you assemble. That's how you begin to get some air in it. That's how you begin to, to, um, to disassemble all that. That's all wrapped in one. How you begin to get air in it to make a sound, assemble, disassemble. That's what we just covered in that video. All right, let's go on.